welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. So today I was putting together one of the videos that I'd created previously and it was to do with boundaries. And then I suddenly had a different look on boundaries from other things that I've picked up on, you know, on Facebook. It's usually Facebook that I get little messages. And I think, wow, and then I really start to look into it. Now, I think for many people, boundaries really has to do with being able to say no. I think that's where most people are stumped. I don't really think it has anything to do with boundaries. It's just being able to say no. So many of us have grown up that we can't say no. We're not allowed to say no. It's like we won't be loved. We won't be, look, you could have a million things that you believe why you can't say no. I was one of these people. And it was thanks to my husband that I met and he was the total opposite. If he didn't want to do something, he just didn't do it. And my mother-in-law is the same. I, I would watch them. They wouldn't want to do something and they'd just say, no, I don't want to do it. Well, no, I'm not available. Or no, just no, I don't want that. I learned with them what it is to say no and still be loved because I didn't love them any less because they didn't want that or they didn't want to do that or you know, I just respected that, okay, they don't want that. They don't want to do that. That's fine. You know, I was fine with it. The hard part for me was actually applying it myself. You know, people came to ask me something to say, no, I don't want that. Or no, I don't want to do that. And I think that's where people go on about boundaries. You know? Um, their inability to say no when they don't want things, they don't want to do things. But that really comes down to you. It's not anything to do with that word. I really don't feel. When you understand the infinite being that you are, that you are limitless. I mean, doesn't that word just sound marvelous? Limitless. You are a limitless being with infinite possibilities. Doesn't that make you feel expansive and spacious and like anything is possible? Everything is possible. Mm, I just want to sit in that for a minute because it just feels so good. It's wonderful. So, the problem is that you can't say no. And you really have to sit with yourself as to why. Why can't I say no? Will they stop loving me if I say no? I think that's the main one, right? They're not going to like me if I say no. But do you like you? And I think that's what it comes down to. Do you love you? Do you love yourself exactly as you are? Didn't have to change a single thing. Do you love yourself in this very moment right now? Do you like yourself? Let's start with something less, less abrasive than love. <laughs> Do you like the person that you are right now in this very moment? Do you like yourself? Would you like yourself any more or any less if you started saying, no, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to. You know, when I think about it, when I would say yes in my old days, before I met my husband, I would say yes. And I didn't want to do it. I would do it with anger. Like I'd be angry that I had to do it. I felt obligated to do it. But I didn't want to do it, you know? And so I would do it angry. You're doing it with that energy, with that angry energy. You're putting that out. But the reason you're angry is because you can't do what you want to do. <laughs> you know? And what is that? What do you want to do? Do you even know? So, you know, you really have to sit with yourself. And you have to start with those questions. Do I like myself? And if not, why not? What is there about you that you can't even like yourself? Do you love yourself? 
And if not, what is there that can't be loved? Because I can tell you right now, I've done hundreds of Reiki healings, hundreds. And there's not one, not one, where the angels have come in and gone, no, we don't want to work with this one. We don't like this one. Not one. The love that they show for every single being that comes in is just mind-blowing. It just blows you away if you could see it. If you could see how they look at you, they look at everybody with so much love and admiration and just awe of us being here and going through all these experiences. They love you no matter what. It doesn't matter. Not for what you do, not for who you are, as in, you know, oh, I'm a doctor, or I'm a dentist, I'm a whatever. Not for any title that you could possibly hold. Not for how you dress, not for the house you live in, not for the car you drive. The angels don't care about any of that. They don't look at any of that. They just see your energy. They just see you in your angelic state, which is what you are inside. And that's all they can see. They can't see all this other stuff that we humans take on. You know, it's unforgivable, it's unlovable, it's unworthy. All these things that we take on as humans. To them, that doesn't mean anything. They don't see any of that. So, it's really important that you sit with yourself. You really sit with yourself and you think, well, why? Why can't I love that about myself? What is it? Make a list if you like. I'm not one for lists, but you know, if you're one of these people that loves lists, make a list of all the things you love about yourself, then make a list of all the things that you don't love about yourself or you don't like about yourself if you don't want to use the word love there. And then go through that list and ask yourself why. Why can't I love that about myself? Why? And you'll probably find most times when you look at that list it's because it's riddled with judgments you're looking at it through judging eyes and not through the eyes of love because the eyes of love only loves it can't do anything else but judgment is what puts that into the category of can't be loved there's a beautiful quote by mother Teresa that if you are judging them you are not loving them and I find that so true. You can't do one, you can't do them both at the same time. You can't judge something and love it at the same time. <laughs> you know? It's either one or the other. So if there are things about you that you can't love yourself, have a look at what judgment you've put in place that makes that so. Because none of it's real. You know, if you think you're not good enough, who said? Where did you get that from? Good enough for what? If you said you're not worthy, who said? Because Source loves you no matter what. You don't have to be worthy for Source. You don't have to be deserving. You don't have to be anything. You are part of this beautiful universal life force energy. You're already part of it. You don't have to do anything to deserve it. You don't have to do anything to win its approval. You are it. You are made of the universal life force energy. You know, we were taught that God is this old man in the sky full of judgments. <laughs> and we seem to grow up thinking we need to win his approval. We have to prove that we are worthy enough for his love. What they didn't teach us is that that old man in the sky, this thing that we call God, this universal life force energy, 
is in everything, including you and me. We are made of it. We are it. <laughs> As I like to say, we are it. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to be anything. You are it. I say tags your it. So think about that today. If you are it, what is there that cannot be loved? And another way to look at it too is if this was your best friend, if you made this list and this was your best friend in the whole world, the person you loved the most, and you're looking at this list, how would you feel? Would you be saying these things to your best friend? Would you be feeling these things for your best friend? Would you have these thoughts about your best friend ever? Because God, source, the universe, whatever you want to call it, it only sees the perfection in you. It only sees your beautiful energy. It doesn't see anything else. It doesn't see your flaws, you know, that we're taught to see from so young. None of them are true. None of them are real. These flaws that we think we have, they're not real. They're all made up in our minds. They're all made up from judgments. We start judging. But remember, when you are born, when we are born, we are born without judgment. We are just love and the light. We don't have any judgments. We don't have any ideas one way or the other that something is good or bad. We don't have any ideas formed that this is right and this is wrong. We just come into the world. That's it. Plain and simple. There is no right and wrong. There is no good or bad. There is only love. All right, my darling. So I'm going to let you sit with that today. Beautiful thought for the day. Why can't I love this about me? Hmm. Really think about it. Because I can tell you, God and the angels do. They love everything about you. There is nothing about you that they don't adore. I know because I've seen it. I love you. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video.